Hi, the welcome to Statistics 5030, Statistical Computing and Data Analysis. This course was originally designed by myself, and it focuses on applied and practical part of statistics. So this class is asynchronous online course. So uh, you can watch videos and uh, do assignments that when uh, you are available, you don't schedule meetings. Uh, my name is Kazuhiko Shinki. Um, I am a statistician in mathematics department. Uh, I also have some industry experience, so I want to make it this class the practical and applicable. Uh, email is the, um, this Wednesday address or uh, this Gmail address. All emails will be forwarded to this Gmail address. Yeah, and we use the Canvas and also the YouTube for lecture videos. And the lecture videos will be available by every Tuesday and the Thursday. And typically the video, um, we have the about 40 to 45 minutes, maybe 35 to 45 minutes, the uh, videos there for each lecture. So the, each lecture consists of maybe three to eight videos. And office hours on Monday, Wednesday, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. And the Monday and Wednesdays that we, uh, I have office hours for the both the Zoom and the um, in person. So you can visit my office at faculty administration building or you can connect to the Zoom. The link is below. Yeah, and also uh, since this is asynchronous course that I would like to set up one meeting to um, communicate with other students, uh, each other. So uh, you are encouraged to attend the first office hour at 5.30 on Friday, tomorrow, uh, September 3rd in Zoom. But it's not required. So um, as long as you're interested in that, um, I encourage you to join. Okay, so prerequisite. So basically, um, this course requires the basic knowledge of statistics and also the linear algebra. So we use the metric matrices the heavily. So the uh, um, you are supposed to be comfortable to deal with the basic statistics and the basic linear algebra. Yeah. So uh, basically, the um, for statistical. Um, knowledge, uh, this the second item, the second book is the uh, my assumption about the, your uh, knowledge. So this is the textbook for start 20 to 10. So it um, discusses the several distributions and the basic estimation techniques and also uh, testing and confidence intervals and the, um, just the very base basics of the linear regression. And our course uses this textbook, but the, mostly I use slides. So this is a kind of a reference, just a reference. But at least there are chapters in my lecture that follows the structure of this textbook. So this is pretty concise textbook. So lecture notes includes uh, more contents, but uh, the, it's worthwhile to download this textbook uh, since you can anyway find it on the internet. And some references, reference books. So these are all similar to this textbook, but the, um, sometimes the, uh, these references have the more explanation. Um, the first one is the R book. This is very thick book, maybe more than 1000 pages. And the contents are very similar to this, but the, the textbook, but the, it includes more uh, explanations. And the second one, third one, and the fourth one have the uh, more, a little more advanced textbooks, but the, uh, it's, it, uh, these correspond to the chapter six and later of this lecture. And some other document, documentations are available on the R Archive Network, the uh, Comprehensive R Archive Network the website. And this course is computational statistics course. So definitely that you need a computer to use. So um, at least the R should be installed and the, also the R studio is supposed to be installed. 
So download and install R and R Studio into your computer at your earliest convenience. So to do quizzes and to do homework, that you need R and hopefully R Studio also. So R is an open source software, so you can download it for free for Windows and Mac OS and Linux. Yeah, so just access to this website and the installation is very easy. So the, uh, you shouldn't have any problem. And R Studio is a kind of add-on to R language. So um, it um, makes you to more conveniently use the uh, functions and the um, uh, doing the file management and the uh, documentations and so on. And the, sometimes the, some students have trouble to install R Studio. So if you have ever used LaTeX, um, the, my recommendation is install R first, then the install LaTeX, then after that R Studio. So if the, you don't use LaTeX, then you can try the R and R Studio. And the, sometimes installation have some uh, troubles and the, but they just uh, try to install it. And if you cannot really install it, then um, that's fine. But the, your assign your work, the, your homework, that your work, they should be the, uh, in, a, in a similar format to the R Studio output. I will upload the, the sample file in Canvas so um, you can see the, um, how your work for assignments that should look like. So objectives of this course, the basically the, this course is a busy course because we have three objectives. One is the programming in R, one third of the course, and the statistical theory. So that is also one third of another one third of the course and the data analysis. This is the, the other one third. And the um, lecture that will be available in on this website. So this is my YouTube channel. So you can see the videos for this year. And also you can see videos for um, last year and for other courses also. And a new video will be up available by Tuesday and Thursday each week. And the uh, lecture slides will be available in Canvas at the same time. So basically, it, it's the same content. So um, if you see lecture slides, then you think it's enough, then uh, sometimes you can skip then maybe a few of the videos. And the, then uh, the do quizzes. So quizzes are in Canvas and they usually do in the two or three days. You can check in Canvas. So quizzes endure that the, you watched the understood lectures. So if you don't understand the contents, then uh, probably that you um, cannot solve the quizzes. So quizzes are not just multiple choice. So sometimes you have to um, run some code in R and you have to put the result in the quizzes. Yeah, and office hours links are here. So the, just be careful that the Monday and the Wednesday, Friday have different uh, links. And the, these links are also available under the pages tab in Canvas. So you can click the, um, the course, the 5030 in Canvas, then the, you see the pages on the left column. So you can click the pages, then the, um, the office hour links are there. And homework will be assigned approximately every one to two weeks. So quizzes are just the to check initial understanding and homework is a little more comprehensive. So you have to create figures and you have to interpret and to write some sentences. So uh, it's a little more comp um, the comprehensive. Probably that we have maybe five homework during the semester, mostly from uh, September to maybe mid November. And there is one take home uh, midterm exam. So uh, this is data analysis. So um, uh, exam, so the, you have to the, 
solve questions with using R and do some interpretations, then uh, submit as a PDF file and work independently because this is an exam. And no final exam, but the final exam is substituted by final projects. So final projects um, develop your independent individual, the final project plan and the collect data and implement the data analysis and make our 12 minutes the presentation video. So basically it's the very similar to the professional setting. So you have to develop a plan and you have to collect data and you have to do analysis. Then you have to make presentation in front of other uh, people. Yeah, so since the, we have the 27 students, the, uh, I will divide the entire class into two groups, uh, almost randomly, and they watch presentations each other the, within each group. So you will watch about 12 videos. And yeah, and project plan is due on the November 19th, Thursday. And the, this is the one to two page summary of your data and the um, analysis plan. So uh, the objective of this is the, to ensure that the, you are on the right track to, to do analysis. Sometimes the, um, some students choose data set that uh, you cannot analyze. For example, data set has already been summarized, then you cannot um, analyze more, right? Um, for example, the, sometimes the students want to analyze the data set, the, uh, which is a summary table of the uh, 10,000 patients of certain disease. Okay, so then if the table has already been uh, the summarized data, then you cannot analyze it. So uh, just, I have to check if the project is feasible. Yeah, so you will get some comments uh, um, on the, the your final project plan. So if you have the plan has serious concerns, then uh, sometimes I have I ask you to um, you know, redevelop the plan. And the grading, the quizzes and homework, the midterm one and the final project. So 15%, 25, 25, and 35 percent. And if you get more than I mean, 80 points or more, 80% or more, the, U, the grade A is guaranteed. If less than that, uh, basically the, um, you will get other grades. And the score for the final projects are 100 at maximum. And outstanding presentations up to 35% of students will get 90 to 100 points and excellent presentations will get 80 points. So that means if we have 27 students, uh, maybe nine or 10 students uh, may get the 90 or 100. And uh, a majority of students uh, will get 80. But the presentation with some weakness, um, for example, the very simple analysis has been done, uh, but not, uh, um, it does not utilize the, uh, most of the knowledge in class. Maybe you will get lower score the, um, from the 60 to 79. And failing presentation will get the zero to 59 points. So typically if students cannot finish the presentation such as they have introduction and the um, data but that they don't do analysis then uh, suddenly the, you, your uh, grade the, um, um, will be the lower than 60. But a majority of final project, projects get 80 or more in typical years. Yeah, but the, some students they, uh, actually they could not submit the final project. So just be careful about the timeline. And these are important dates. So the um, September 3rd, the tomorrow, the Friday at 5.30, the office hours and some so socializations in Zoom. So it's encouraged to attend while it's not required. And the take home midterm due the um, October 14th. So the mostly this is our holding and the some data analysis. And the November 18th, the final project plan due. So this is just one to two page summary of the, um, your plan. And no class during uh, Thanksgiving. And the final presentations are due on 
uh, yeah, so December 9th and December 16th, the due date depends on students. So basically, after you submit final project plan, I start the, um, you know, reviewing the, your, your project plans and the, um, I reply to it the, as soon as possible the, for the presentations for the first day. Then after that, the, I um, comment on the, the other half of the presentation plans, the final project plans. Yeah, so the, we will decide the, the who makes presentation uh, on which date after the um, after the take home midterm was graded because the usually about 10% of students that will drop out the um, around by maybe the mid October. So after that, we will decide the schedule for final presentations. Okay, so this is the syllabus. So if you have questions, then you can uh, visit my office hours. <laughs>